Hi, I'm Mike McKinney from The M&M Show and owner of Carolina Property Sales, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Likes. Usually what we've been doing with Mike's Likes is putting a focus on some of the area's top local businesses, but in this case, we're going to put a focus on one of my favorite charities, the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. Let's go inside and see what's going on. And now we're inside the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina with Sharon, who's the volunteer coordinator and also head of one of my favorite, maybe my favorite charity, and that is Backpack Pals. What is the main focus of the Food Bank and of Backpack Pals? Sure, so our main focus is to make sure that our members of the community have access to food. And something that many people don't understand is that food insecurity is year round. So we're constantly working on this. The Backpack Pals program helps those students that are attending school and those who may be attending virtually get access to food for the weekend. And what people may not know is there are a lot of children that only get lunch at school and they don't get to eat again until Monday when they have breakfast at school. So uh, your, your mission there is to help uh, give children something to eat through the weekend, correct? That's right. And given now that we're in a state of a pandemic, we're making sure that we're adding a little bit more to our backpack pals. And what are some of the items that you guys ask for? I know it's non-perishable food items, but maybe some examples. Yeah, sure. So we always like to include protein cans uh, for our our students. So these are the smaller ones. We also give larger ones for our seniors or high schoolers. Um, individual packs of cereals and even peanut butter is something that we're always looking for. Raisins as well as juice and crackers. As a nonprofit, we're able to work with our partners and make sure that we can provide up to five meals for every dollar that we get donated. How do people find out more? You're more than welcome to call us here at the Food Bank, or if you visit the Food Bank website, you'll get that information right at your fingertips. Thank you very much, not just for doing this interview, but for everything that you guys do. It is, it is an invaluable service. Thank you so much. And that wraps up another episode of Mike's Likes, the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. Just remember, a little goes a long way. Like, share, and comment below. If there's a business you would like to see featured on Mike's Likes, we would love to hear from you. I'm Mike, and that's what I like.